when you hit that top range, man, it just cuts out, hey. It flatlines. You got nothing. You have no go. If you ever reach a red line on it, you you soon discover that you'd want to change gears way earlier and you'd be so much further ahead of yourself. But for this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a camshaft by TEC Customs. been quite a while since saying that I was going to put this into that but today's the day if you're new here this is my 2018 street scrambler I put a high flow air filter in it I've decatted it and I've put the Zard N1 slip-ons on and today we're going to fit the TEC camshaft and see if it makes a noticeable difference let's go mm. oh yeah she needs a service I often get asked what foam mount I use for my motorcycle. For over six years now, I've been using Quadlock Moto and let me tell you, I've never had a single mishap. The Quadlock mechanism keeps my phone securely in place, making navigation a breeze on all my rides, whether on road or off. I've added the vibration dampener to shield my camera from those nasty micro vibrations, which work a treat. Plus, the wireless charger is a lifesaver. No more fumbling with cables every time I hop on or off the bike. Quadlock's cases are the real deal. Super durable, comfy to hold, and they make my setup look slick. If you're in need of a secure phone mount, then hit the link in the description below to receive 10% off everything store-wide. Thank you so much Quadlock for sponsoring this video. The mighty camshaft is for you, sir. Stunning, thank you. So this is Nick, ladies and gentlemen, he runs this mad little workshop. Why did you start your own thing? I was working in workshops for well over a decade and I kind of just got sick of it. Yeah. I thought I could just do this from home. So uh, yeah, two years later, I've just been working from home and it's been pretty good. And this is your thing. Yeah, yeah just this doing this full time, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. He's got a wicked collection of bikes. He's just telling me that this is his, that's your bad boy there. Daily ride. Your daily ride. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, he fronts on motor camping as well and stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would be awesome going camping on one of these old school girls. I can highly recommend it. Yeah, hey, yeah, just a that, different that, vibe that. altogether. Hey, yeah, and you yeah. did the whole swag thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just run a swag and then a jerry can if I need it and just a little duffel bag full of random bits and pieces. So, oh, good. Yeah, I keep it pretty basic and simple. There she is. Beautiful. Little, little bad boy. So this TEC camshaft is supposed to de-restrict the Street Scrambler engine. Apparently, from manufacturing, they were on par with the 1200 Scramblers, so they had to restrict the engine somehow, and they used this lap camshaft. This TEC camshaft de-restricts it, so we get all the power, all the goodness. It's Keen stopping. to see how it goes, yeah. So this thing's done 35,000 kilometers. The last major service it had was at 16,000 Ks. So it needs all the fluids redoing. They've never been done. The front brake, look how, look how much movement there is on this. Oh yeah, she's spongy. Yeah, right? she's, yeah, she, <laughs> she's spongy. She's on the sponge. Brake pads and all that sort of stuff. So a nice, a nice major, major service for her. She needs it in the camshaft as well. So let's get in it. Ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Camshaft runs basically straight through the middle there. Mm -hmm. The lobes on the camshaft act on these followers here, and these followers is what pushes the the valves down. Next step, basically, I want to check uh, valve clearances as they are now, just to inspect everything, and then I will start taking the camshaft out, getting all the timing marks correct, and seeing what we're playing with here. Yes, yeah, so that's the part that I'll be wigging out. I'd, I know I'd get it wrong. And then I know I'd start the bike up and just blow the head straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Timing mark, with the split in the cases. And then if you have a look up top, pretty sure there is a tool that uses to, to slot in there. And then that rests on the machine face. Ah, oh, right. So that will basically pin your cam timing in place there. Cam chain tensioner sits at the front of the motor. What we're gonna need to do is pull the, the tensioner out 
so we can slacken off the cam chain. Once the cam chain is uh, slack, we can actually pull the cam out and there's nothing acting on it. Taking the chain slider out, uh, it all means I can actually move the chain over the, uh, uh, the cam yeah. sprocket, yep. basically. That is the old cam shaft. Yeah. I wonder if there's a noticeable difference. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, really? <laughs> there's a huge difference. Basically, yeah, you're looking at the, 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 the profile of the cams. Um, they've got a similar lift. Uh, I doubt there's much difference in there, but you can actually see the actual uh, the duration of the cam. Uh, so how long the valves are actually open for. They're open for a lot longer on uh, this guy than it is on the stock. Longer a valve is open, the more air fuel we can get in there. <laughs> Good and the more exhaust you can get out. So, <laughs> hell yeah. Let's go. The beauty of these is that cam timing is all fully adjustable. Ah, oh, right, so okay. That's, that's why that's on a, on a cutout. We'll just line it up to where standard was, mm -hmm. roughly thereabouts. And then we'll set the cam timing when we've actually got it back in there and everything's in position and ready to lock it up. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So when we're putting the cam in it, ready to go, um, we'll run the cam in. So what we do is we put the cam in there, put some fresh oil in there, we'll run it up at speed for like 15, 20 minutes or something, just to get some hardening on the faces uh, of the lobes. We'll pull it out after that. Just check everything, make sure everything's looking nice and, and, and worn in, and then we'll do the oil on it again, just to make sure it's got nice fresh oil in there. Yeah, awesome. We've uh, roughly put the cam sprocket back to where it was on the last cam, uh, and if we have a look here, we double check our timing marks. Uh, so the T, T should still be in line with the split in the cases, mm -hmm. And if we have a look up top with the tension, uh, the, the, the slack of the chain pulled in the direction of the tensioner, uh, the little cutout on the cam is in line with the, uh, with the machine flats. So we're all good. Uh, yeah, okay. about as much as we can get done today. Nick's got everything all suited in there nicely. We've just got to order some shims and get some measurements and everything like that. Pretty exciting. How do you reckon it'll run? Uh, I'm hoping you, well. Yeah, I reckon, <laughs> hey. I've got very high hopes for this. I've heard very good things about this cam shaft. So yeah, no, I'm keen to see this thing running. So Shinko was sending me out another set of tires. So they're gonna be put on. He's gonna be doing all the fluids and all the standard servicing stuff. It definitely needs some TLC. So we'll be back in a couple of days. Those who own one of these 2018 street scramblers know that these things clap out at around five to six thousand revs. Now I just want to show you this. Okay, second gear. Limiter straight away, and it just keeps them pulling. The power is all there, baby. Right through the rev range. It just hammers. <laughs> it's so much fun. It is a perky machine. Wow. This is what it's missed. That is what it's missed. My gosh. Good day, mate. Good day for it. <laughs> This thing is a ripper. It's what it's been missing all this time. Just not even more power, so to speak, but a pull from zero all the way up through the rev range, hitting that limiter, man. And then when you change gears, that thing just takes off. What a, what a delight. What an absolute delight. 
And another thing I've noticed as well is that there is less engine braking. Because the lobes are so much bigger now, the valves are staying open for longer. So there's less restriction on the engine when you decelerate. This is second gear, look how slow it's going down. Now that is good and bad. The bad part is obviously you don't pull up as fast if you rely on engine braking a bit. The good thing is, so now we're cruising at 100k an hour, fourth gear, and there's still not that much engine braking. Put it in the fifth, and it just feels like the engine can just breathe. We're just cruising now. Even if you up it to 110, you know, it's not struggling. It just feels how it should. TEC do have an installation tutorial for the camshaft where they actually go through and do different setups for the dyno tunes. So they do it before and after the camshaft, they do it with different kinds of slip on exhaust, they do it with cat, without a cat. They even take the air filter snorkel off to see if that makes any difference. So if you're actually keen on seeing the, the power output, seeing what it actually can make with different setups, check the video out. That's pretty interesting. Now I was hoping to get a dyno chain done. Just so I can see the power output, time had it, couldn't get it booked in in time. And they are obviously, they're a great way to see on paper what the bike is doing, how the engine performs. It really comes down to the feel of the bike. After all, we do want to feel the difference. But I'm telling you now. <laughs> You can feel the difference, baby. <laughs> now it's worth mentioning that I have not done anything with the ECU. I haven't flashed it, I haven't tuned it, it's all stock. These have the self-learning system and it works pretty well. Admittedly, it does start and run pretty rough. When you first connect everything up and you fire up the bike, it's not gonna kick over the first go, probably won't kick over the second go, probably won't kick over the third go, but it does end up getting going and then it starts learning and doing its thing. Then for the first few rides, it's gonna cough and splatter a little bit, but as you just saw and heard, it's actually performing so well. Now for fuel consumption, I haven't really noticed a massive difference. I haven't ridden it a lot. I got super sick when I picked the bike up from Nick and then I moved interstate. So I haven't had a chance to take this thing out on a massive, massive ride. But I feel like it would use just a little bit more fuel. Um, and seeing the other reviews that other people have made on these camshafts, they say the same thing. It's not a big deal. It's not a game changer. And overall, I feel like it wasn't that big of a job. You know, I thought it was going to be way more involved. I mean, Nick knew what he's doing. That always helps. If you're doing this for the first time, I'd say to take it to a mechanic or someone that knows what they're actually doing because you do not want to stuff those timings up. Oh, that would be the worst thing ever. I'm so happy with how the bike performs now. It feels like a completely different machine. It pulls right through the rev range just like it should. You can hit the limiter and then you smack into the next gear and then that torque just bites in and grabs and just throws your head back and takes off. It's so nice to have power on the street scrambler, finally. I'd like to say a special thanks to TEC for sending that camshaft out to me. It was a long time coming. I feel like we built this mad suspense about the camshaft, but we finally got there. Shinko tires, thank you for the brand new rubber. The E804 and 805s, I love them. That you can corner with them, you can hit the trails with them, they look meaty. And thank you so much Quadlock for sponsoring this video. If you want 10% off, hit the link in my description below and you'll be loving life. And a huge thank you to Nick. He's dialed in my bike. It's so nice. It feels like brand new. If you're in Melbourne and you need a decent mechanic, someone that's cool, someone that's not going to rip you off and that does an amazing job, reach out to Nick. His Instagram's linked in the description below. He just takes messages. Book in. You'll love it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.